as I'm going to be talking about the 10 steps that I took, I'm also going to be giving like on each of the step, I will give a full video that I've made in the past. Like I'll put the link, I'll put all of them in the description box below. So make sure you check the description box. It will help you to navigate those videos. Okay. The first thing I did was finding schools and their requirements. What is this school saying? What do they want? Do I meet those requirements and all that? That was the first step. The second step, TOEFL and GRE preparation plus the actual exams. So what this means uh, is that after I searched for the requirements, I found that, oh, this is what I have to do. This is what they need. And that some of the schools, I discovered that they require TOEFL. This is test of English as a foreign language and the GRE graduate record examinations. So they asked for those things. So I started preparing for those exams. I registered for the exams and, you know, preparation to write the exam. The number three thing was to actually um, create accounts and start turning in my applications, um, filled in my information, submitted those that needed to be submitted as soon as possible before the deadline. So the video to finding the schools and their requirements and how you can do that, it's here. Click the link if you want to see a full video on how to find the school, it's right here. The fourth thing was West Evaluation um world education services um some of these schools because you're coming from a different country they don't know what your result translates in the united states so they will want you to do a professional evaluation of your certificates i schooled in Benin republic so my result was in french though i had a translated version which i did at university of lagos nigeria but um, they also needed to see the equivalent in the united states so that was the purpose of the west evaluation that took a long time like it took about three months to get that evaluation done this is why i tell you guys this whole process i started it in august um, 2017 and i got here in august 2018 so allow for at least a year to be able to put these things together because you might not know what the school wants and how long it would take look at the west evaluation for example it took about three months so what if you i didn't plan for it i didn't start on time and then the application deadline has already passed what will i do and the evaluation is not ready so be wise okay give yourself at least a year to put these things together to study for exams and everything you need to do number five the admission decisions from the different schools i applied to this came in their numbers because i applied to eight universities if you haven't watched the video it is here my application uh, you know the um the admissions i got and what or not the video is here click on it and watch yeah i started receiving rejections and acceptances and all that stuff number six after i received the admissions and everything so i looked at the schools and you know see which one do i like best the one i liked at that at the time i decided to apply for their funding and i am going to tell you how i got the funding the video is here as well if you want an elaborate video but that was the next step after i received my admissions even while i was applying for the admission i think there was one they asked to check if you would be interested in getting um, um funding i checked it but apparently they didn't really take me just based on that i had to request for it so that was the next step i i took after but it's good to take this step hand in hand like you know um when you're applying also throw in the funding application and all that but i did it differently i got the admission first before applying for the funding number seven now i know that okay i have in, i have um, my admission and i have everything i requested for my i-20 and i did the process and then i started the visa application and preparation process so i started preparing for my visa interview and you know filling the form and i registered and everything and i was ready to attend my interview after I, I i went for my interview i didn't get the visa i told you guys already the video is here as well like i said i'll be linking all these videos because i've made a separate video for each of them but this is like putting every step together you get me so i got the visa i am ready to go to Obadoyibo. so the next step was to start buying and packing for the Obadoyibo trip Obodoyibo abroad trip you know i started buying stuff like things i would need even be when i was applying for my visa that was when i started buying things like not like buying things like i started preparing kind of not like buying buying but i already programmed my mind it's gonna happen it's gonna happen it's gonna happen so so that was like the full preparation buying boxes buying a pair of shoes you know putting things together if you want to know what to buy the video is here as well you can click and check it out okay the next thing I booked a flight. I think it's either I booked the flight first and then started buying things or I did them together. I think I probably did them together. Book the flight to travel. And if you haven't heard about the gist of the travel, 
link is here uh, click it <laughs> and number 10 is departure and arrival yeah i departed and arrived I departed from Nigeria and arrived in the Ubudu Yibo. I arrived in the USA. So those are like the quick 10 steps that I took to come to the United States of America. So you can use this video as a reference and then try to find all those other separate videos that are integrated into it, okay? So that you can get more details. Please, if you enjoyed today's video, click the like button, share this video with your friends and family, huh? share and come back to watch my other videos okay i really appreciate you guys thank you so much for watching